This is a review of the Apacer Audio Steno AU524 MP3 player and memory stick. This is what comes in the package. It includes a headphone set with a lanyard, uh, a USB extender cable, it's just an extender, and an additional headphone set with a lanyard. So, this is the device. Get a look at this. Here's the device. Has a microphone on the end, two headphone jacks, loop for a lanyard. Nothing much on the back. This is a one gigabyte unit. On the top we have a hold button and a reset button and a slot for a micro SD card. You can take a one gigabyte card. If you pull this tip off, standard USB plug. Power up the unit with as long as the hold button's off. Power it up by pushing the play button in the middle. You can get the butterfly animation. Let's see if I can get this close. You can see. I'm going to zoom in. There we go. Now you can see the uh, format is MP3, 192 kilobit. No repeat. The equalizer is set to normal. I have full battery. Uh, I'm 10 seconds in on the track with 4 minutes 26 total playtime. This is the 14th track of 58 on this unit, and the volume's set pretty high. I'm going to plug it in so you can hear. Okay. I'm going to turn the volume down so it's not too loud. So keep it in focus. Get a little bit more. You can see it's got a waveform display. While the unit's playing, you can click up, go through the menus, you can set the repeat type. I'll go through that real quick. Let's go back to this menu. There's an equalizer. You can change the equalization settings. You can even set your own. The real problem with this thing is up and down is navigated by clicking left or right. That always fools me. The 3D sound effect is like a wide setting. Play rate, you can set it to play a little faster, or a little slower if you're listening to voice. Intro, no idea. Tried several settings, never works. Display, uh, you can choose what kind of animation you have. There's now a little stereo UV meter there. And now we'll go out to the different features. This is a recording menu. If you record using this microphone, it generates a file called mic. Dot zero 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 dot wave. The recordings are kind of low quality, 22 kilohertz, but uh, you can put quite a bit of time on this unit. FM radio. We'll have it seek to another channel. You can make presets and things like that. You can also record FM by holding down this button. And it begins to create a file. This one's going to be called fm.0002.wave. It'll be on the device when you put it into your computer. Pause that. This is the setup menu. You can choose how long it stays powered up, the language, the, how bright the display is some tools to let you delete files, format the device, reset it, get info. I have 673 megabytes free. Let's go back to the music menu. 
another trick that it does I really like. Oh, you have to be playing it to get to its menu. It's the file browser. You can see all the files on your device. Even the data files. So, this is all the music I have. Click that, and then this is my data folder. It skips right past it, but it seeks to any level, finds every mp3 file on this. No matter how I make the directories, it finds every file. And that's it. Let me give you some idea of the size of this unit. The display automatically scrolls, too, if I stop messing with it. Let's back this up a little bit. Give you an idea of how big it is. I got big hands, so it makes it look small. But here's a 30 gigabyte iPod. And this unit, it's about oh, a little bit shorter. And just about the same thickness. Lasts about eight hours on a battery charge. And that's it. I think it's a great value for 35 bucks or 36. And maybe you can find it with free shipping somewhere.